right guys i'm playing fortnite on my samsung galaxy z Fold 5 uh this controller here is called the bs-d3 and it's a bluetooth controller it's got glowing buttons as you can see there and there right so i'm playing fortnite and this laptop in the background is called uh, msi raider uh this the keyboard is a um the keyboard itself is a still series keyboard and it's got a 240 hertz oled uh, qhd display it's a 15 inch uh, laptop it's got the rtx 3080 ti laptop gpu with 16 gigs of vram uh, the laptop's got an intel i7 which is uh it's uh the intel i7 12 800 hx which has 16 cores and 24 threads uh, it's got eight efficiency cores eight performance cores it's got three terabytes ssd it's got 32 gigs of ram fully upgradable to 64 gigs gigabytes of ram it's got two m.2 slots so in one slot got the 2280 ssd the long one it's one terabyte the long ssd the other slots got the 2230 which is the half ssd uh and then uh, of course the cooling pad that is sitting on this one here that is called a moj c-50 it's got three fans small fans here three fans small fans here and two major fans in the middle and it's got up to six speeds uh of uh, for the fans this is maxed out right now so all the fans are kicking in um basically uh oh yeah the cooling stand also has different you know like levels of going up so it can actually lift up your laptop so if you want it to get better cooling uh right now it's sitting down obviously because i need i needed something for my phone to sit on um you know it's it's on the track but it's not really on the track but it's kind of like in between it's sitting where the trackpad would have been um you know right let me let me go down here you know why i like coming here the g-wagon uh this game i'm playing this on epic graphic settings uh this is the fortnite mobile it's not game pass and um like i did tell i did say this before uh they've made a, a huge differences with this game this game now um comes with all the graphic settings so unlike before uh this game would have come with uh only the sd version or the hd version and the sd version would have only required you to um required you to actually have um a total storage of six gigabytes for the hd version of the game or it would have required you to have um trying to remember it would have wanted you to have um sorry i remember there's a chest up here oh no <laughs> i'm wasting bullets right um so the hd version of the game would have been six gigabytes the sd version would have been about four gigabytes what they have recently done and this is something i do like about this uh game especially is they've changed that and uh are these guns the same can't tell i think that's a sniper but no scope on it no problem right um so basically uh the hd uh version uh hd graphics version of the game would have been requiring at least six gigabytes whereas the sd version of the game only requires uh a total of only requires a total of um only requires a total of okay the sd version of the game only requires uh, a total of four gigabytes if you were installing it this is in the past i'm not talking now i'm talking about the past past tense yes uh so basically uh now it's only it does require quite a, a large amount of storage space which would be 14.5 or 14.9 gigabytes to actually install the game uh so what that means is that instead of having now to i'm wondering what happens if you get close to this oh so it just knocks you then how about the middle one what happened in here oh it throws you damn i destroyed one of the lights ah oh, damn okay wow okay 
So it will actually, to, or you can repair yourself. Okay, cool. I see, nice one. Oh, wow. Okay, Um. so basically, uh, let me just get out of here. Let's see, where's, where's this place go to? I need to find this place that I'm going to. Right, Um. so basically what they do now is they only require... When I say only, I know I know it might sound like a big task, but they only require you to have 14 dot, um, 14 dot, uh, ooh, no, no, I wanna get that, oh, there's two chests. Okay, they, they require you to have about, uh, ooh, oh, yes, oh, ah! <laughs> I was so tricky. <laughs> you know, I was so tricky. Right, um, so they do actually require you to have at least 14.9 or 14.5 gigabytes. Now, why, why is this uh, important? Like I said, it's important solely because they, um, they now give you all of the, um, the graphics. They now give you all of the graphics uh, options. You've got epic, you've got medium, you've got low, you've got high. So it no longer depends with um, with um, the kind of graphics uh, thing that you would have required beforehand. So that's that's why I'm saying it's it's kind of more it's more beneficial now. Oh, what am I doing? No, I I need to be on driving. Right. So it's what I'm saying is I feel like it's more beneficial. Hey, you know what I'm wondering? What happens if if I Oh wow, this is wild. I'm trying my best to go through this thing. Ah, damn, I missed it. I don't know why this bike is acting weird. I wanna see what happens if, if I go on that thing and get a gun. Oh, oh, damn, it threw me off. Um, so yeah, okay, there, there's the gun thing. Let me not hit this, yeah, let, let's see what happens. Oh, nothing happens, you don't get a gun on the motorcycle. Okay, all right, so that is something I didn't know. Right, um, so like I said, um, wh where are we actually fighting? Oh, wow, I missed, I missed this. <laughs> I fell off the bike. Come on. Why is this bike acting crazy? Wow, it just threw me out. Right, um, right, so basically, uh, the 14.9 or 14.5 gigabytes is all you require for downloading the full game with all the graphics options you no longer oh this bike is out of control man but it's helping because this guy can't kill me <laughs> he's trying his best he can't do anything right so basically i've leveled up as well right so basically um oh i missed this dude okay ah damn <laughs> they're gonna take the bike <laughs> that would be so funny if they did right i don't think they wanted the bike uh that's a pity okay so they left it is it still there oh wow well, they're destroying my bike that's not nice let, let, let me show them what i think about people who destroy bikes ah wow ah damn Oh, damn. Uh, someone else got to them. They destroyed my bike, man. How cruel can you be? Right. Um, so these arms things, they, they reload and you get like four options on these. What's this person doing? Ah, damn it, man. Uh, if you want to jump up and do the things I was doing, you have to jump and then press the, the trigger thing. So that's how you do those power punches. But you have to remember as well that those knuckle things only have up to four uh like ammo they do have something called ammo and they do actually function on on them four times so if you use it you need to start counting one then two then three then four then five and then obviously you run out of ammo what it does uh the good thing that it does do is that it recharges uh if you use all of your ammunition for these um knuckle things don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. Uh, it just means solely that um, they will recharge and then you can keep using them. Right, I can see 
Oh wow, I'm seeing people, but these dudes, uh, the people in my squad are quite. Uh, wow, I got a <laughs> road kill, <laughs> speed bump. It says hit a player with a vehicle. <laughs> they call it speed bump. <laughs> that was so weird. Right. Oh, can I can I shoot these things? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I was almost killing that thing. Oh, that's why he's running away. Ah, uh, pity. I'm going to try and destroy that car. Come on, bro. Ah, uh, pity, man. I was so close. You know what? You can zoom in and practically fire on these people. Ah, uh, damn. So he's gone. Damn, man. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. What's this dude doing? Why is he doing that? I don't understand these people. They always have this weird obsession. Uh, 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 what's the thing called again? When when they just want to... Oh, you see those, those trees? They grow again. You know the ones that provide the shield and stuff? They actually grow again. Right? You can zoom in. Oh, yeah. You know what I found out about this gun? This cannon. You just look. You just keep pressing and it keeps firing. I didn't know that. Right. Um, you also need to change your seats uh, in order to go to the cannon seat if you want to use the cannon. So if you want to use the cannon, you need to change your seat. How you change your seat is by clicking on the right thumbstick. So if you click down on the right thumbstick, it's, the, it's what gives you the ability to change your firing. Boom. There you go. go ahead, gave you something to think about. They want the car. Come on, man. Get your own. <laughs> not not cases. Ah, <laughs> that was weird. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Ah, oh, pity, man. Right. Um. They. I. I was trying to say they have got a weird. Abs uh, uh, I forget the name. The word. You know where where they like to just uh, kill everything. Kill, 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 kill. Oh wow. They jump downwards. Where are they going? What's down there? What's the point then? Ah, uh, no, that was a waste of time. Now I came down for nothing. <laughs> the person is gone. Do you know that if you jump in water, you, you can swim like faster or something? I think that tactic is still there. Right. Um. So, I'm trying my level best. Um. I think that person is with this. Okay, got them. Right, okay, let me, ooh, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to try my, oh, damn. They got me before I could do anything. Before I could do anything, they got me. Right, to connect your DualSense controller to your Samsung, um, you just need to go into Bluetooth settings. Uh, how they will connect, basically, is quite simple. Just as if you're going to connect a, uh, oh, damn like a Bluetooth speaker to give you a number on your screen, on the Bluetooth setting screen. And uh, all you have to do is to say pair with that number and you pair it and it will actually say DualSense uh, wireless controller. That's, that's how you know it's the controller that wants to pair. And you just allow it, you pair it on the phone and that's it. Where's this person at? And, and that's, that's the end of it. That's all you've got to do. So as long as you do that, Check, I destroyed the tree. <laughs> Check that. I took them out 500 XP. Damn. So, what I'm saying is oh, check this guy. Check this guy. I don't think they've seen him. You see that? Oh, they, they did see afterwards. I want to I wanna wreck that thing. Ah, they took me out. They took me out. Ah, that's a pity. Right. Um. So, what I'm saying is. You know what I want to do? I want to go through that thing. You know you can do that with this uh, slide. I know a lot of people think you can't, but you can. Oh, damn. Why wow, it threw me through. Uh, I don't know why the slide went down. Uh, okay, we didn't get it. But it's, it's cool. Right, so what I'm saying is... What I'm saying is... Um, this is not bad. Um, okay, I was trying to say a comparison between my laptop... 
uh, the iPhone with the backbone, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold uh, 5, the one I'm using now with the DualSense controller, or this laptop in the back, that's the MSI Radar laptop there. Um, or, um, you know, so the four things I've got for gaming is one Steam Deck over there. That's a Steam Deck. I think you guys can see it's a Steam Deck touchpad joystick with the um, AB buttons, Xbox buttons. That's the Steam Deck over there. So, uh, Backbone is also sitting over there. The, the connect, the controller is just sitting there. That's an Xbox old controller. This is a BS uh, D3 uh, Bluetooth gamepad, but it's actually connected to my laptop. And I can actually use this as a game controller on the laptop. But I do choose, if I am going to do any gaming on my laptop, I would always choose DualSense. And you need to connect it via USB. I do use an emulator called DS uh, for Windows, which is similar to DSX that they sell on Steam. But that's what I'm using. Right, uh, let's see. Why is it doing that? It's going invisible. Uh, it says, uh, spend bus. I don't know what bus are. Reach uh, the top 10 players remaining and damage opponents at Brutal Beachhead. I don't know where Brutal Beachhead is. Right, um, so the graphics quality on the game right now, I'm playing this on Epic Graphics. I'll try and zoom in so you guys can have a better view. It's all on Epic. Uh, and um, I did select 45 FPS and 80% 3D resolution high on texture quality and um, pre-downloading of uh, cosmic uh, textures is on. So this 3D resolution is 80%. Uh, quality preset is epic and uh, it is set to 45 FPS, not 60. Why did I do that? Because uh, with, um, with the 100% 3D resolution and the 60 FPS, I found there to be uh, way too much lag. There was just too much lag on the game and um, I, I just didn't see the value of having all that lag if, if, uh, if you understand what I'm, what I'm saying. So I'm not saying it's a bad thing to do or to have, but I'm simply saying I didn't see the value of having all that lag um, on, on this game, especially, uh, what's this thing? I, I didn't see the value of having all that lag just for the extra 20% of the 100%. I lowered, I could have put it down to 75 or 70, but I thought 80 was better. And the 45 FPS actually is not all that bad. It's not It's not as bad as you think. I'm gonna go down to this house. I think this, this house does have a few. I like the fact that it's got a fireplace. And when I light this thing up, I do get XP. See, 100 XP campfire. It does have a few chests in there, not a lot, but just a few. I'm gonna close the door, so at least people won't realize that I'm in here doing my thing. It's giving me a key. I don't know what that key is for. Right, so I'm just gonna quickly... All right, let me get that shotgun. I don't like the one it's giving me. Oh, damn. Okay, I don't know why I did that. I, I didn't realize, like, uh, ooh, what, what are these things? What's that color thing? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna take it. I don't know. I've 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 been seeing that call. I don't know what it does. Right. Um. I know there's a chest outside. I'm gonna go and get a chest. Right. Uh. Let me go upstairs quick. I need to do this quickly. Uh. That's the shield stuff. Right. Uh. Let's see. Uh. Okay. Let me get some ammunition. Uh. What else? There's gonna be. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible before people come. What's this new collar? Why can't I carry it more? I don't know what this stuff does. I wish I knew what it did, then I would be like, okay, I should be collecting more of it. There's a shield, there's a chest in here. Uh, yeah, what's that? That's a sniper scope. I already got a sniper. Right, where's this thing at? Ooh, okay, another chest. Uh, okay, got some gold, got some ammo. Right, I'm definitely going to build. Uh, if you want to build, guys, you need to keep uh, pressing down on your uh, uh, is it the L2 button. Just as as long as you've got the building materials, you'll be fine. Uh, afterwards, just press 
on the O or on the B button if you're using Xbox controller. I mean, you, you don't have to make it through. You'll still, even if you respond, you'll still go to the actual spot. But it's just a good idea to, to have, you know, to have this uh, there. Right. I don't think I've got, oh yeah, nice one. A car. Let me get um, the turret thing for this. Um, I was saying, I was saying before, what do I prefer having to use between my laptop? Uh, the Samsung Galaxy Z for five with the DualSense controller, or um, the um, the iPhone with the backbone, or um, the Steam Deck. Right. This is my opinion. It's just my opinion. It it doesn't mean everybody else is wrong. It's just my personal opinion. The iPhone with the backbone, I feel like it's good, but um, it's really hard to make videos, especially if you, I use a tripod, yes? And it's difficult to use a tripod to actually record, um, you know, like, just recording a, a basic video is so, so hard. Why is the fire coming out of this thing? Why is the fire from here? See, that's weird, right? I've never seen that before. <laughs> so the fire is coming from Norway. Right, so my my personal opinion is i i find the backbone with the iphone good to use only if you're not making videos why why did i say that because it, it needs to be in your face type of thing it is good to use it's 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 been a a a a game changer it's 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 really changed my life it's given my life uh my iphone more life because my iphone like i told you wasn't doing anything and and that's the, that's just the truth i wasn't doing anything with the iphone before the backbone before i got the backbone my iphone was just sitting there maybe i'll check a few things and that was it i wasn't really gaming on the iphone that's just the truth it wasn't doing anything so i'm not trying to say this to sound pompous or whatever i'm just saying it how it is it wasn't doing anything so when I get the backbone, I was kind of like 50-50, but I did pay only $25 for the backbone because my iPhone is the old I iPhone 14 Pro Max. So, um, well, no one's around here. Let me, let me find some people. Right, so basically, I, I find the backbone to be really good, but not good as such for... Um, So it's not it's not as good when it's not as good uh, when when you're trying to do the <laughs> it's not as good when you're trying to record videos because remember one thing the backbone you have to like hold it so close to your face to play games uh, when you're trying to record especially through a tripod and then the tripod itself is kind of awkward. So what I'm trying to say is that the backbone itself, is, there's no issue with it. iPhone itself, no issue with it. I don't have a problem with it. I actually think that that gave my iPhone more life. The iPhone was doing nothing. It was just sitting there. And I actually stopped. The game I used to play a lot was War Robot. I actually stopped playing it because I just got bored of, you know, touching the screen all the time. It was kind of, it just gets to you after a while. You get tired so easily of doing that. What's this guy doing? Is he in the car itself or what? Right, so what I'm saying is, I find, I find that uh, the backbone gave my iPhone more value, okay? That's, that's my own opinion. I'm not saying this is a me thing or anything, it's my own opinion. I feel like it gave my iPhone more life. Right, so, I, would I recommend it? Yes. It, it is going to give your phone more value for money. It's, it's going to... You're going to like your iPhone again. You know, it's, it's going to, you know, games especially. If you play Fallout 84, all the controls on the backbone work with the game. You will not even fall, even once. Yes, I know when you watch my videos, you see me touching the screen. Because I didn't know that the game itself was so... It's, it's, it's really integrated with the backbone. Every, every uh, ability is there. You don't need to touch the screen. I touched the screen because I didn't know what I was doing at first. I needed to learn the game, but once I learned the game and I figured out, oh, you do this, you do this, it's a combination of that and this, you need to press this and that, it's a combination. That's when you discover, like, okay, 
so you don't need um and get some shield too oh, pretty. right so what i'm saying is it's a combination of buttons uh some of the things you've got to do and uh, that's what gives you um uh what you can do with the backbone but would i recommend it for games yes what games does it play Fallout 84 works flawlessly with the backbone uh, call of duty mobile works flawlessly wars on mobile was actually specifically made for the backbone on the iphone so yes the if, if you are wars on mobile fan and that's your main game then yes 100 percent if you're buying it solely for wars on mobile buy it i won't even say no i'll say yes buy it so that's my own personal opinion if you're buying it for fallout 84 they do all the buttons do all the combinations work on the backbone you never have to touch the screen yes 100 percent you just need to learn the game uh at first there'll be things you don't understand like i didn't understand but uh, obviously you will learn you will learn you know just like with any game you will learn but all the buttons on the backbone work with Fallout 84 if that's your game yes uh walls on mobile yes every button works with it the only thing you time you need to press on the the screen for is for the next match that's that's it just one button I mean, just one thing. And if you want to change the loadout, yeah, you need to, the back one won't uh, assist you there. You need to tap, tap, tap. But it's it's a whole lot faster to use your finger anyway. Why would you want to use the back one for that? It's going to take you longer just to select items with the back one. You know, so some things make sense. Some things just make general sense. Like this is why they do that, that type of thing, you know? So I'm not saying that um, it's 100% um going to be perfect but with was on mobile i've never had a problem you just have to select the next match tap on it that's not a huge problem is it um call of duty mobile yes works flawlessly with the uh, backbone yeah but you need to sometimes you need to tap just a few menus load out you know it's similar to wars on mobile but it's not a big deal if you love the game you you can look over those things it's not a big issue right other things that um, i'm gonna talk about games uh dead cells if you like dead cells that game works flawlessly with the backbone another game that works with the backbone is uh, war robots flawlessly works with the backbone if war robots is a game you don't like tapping the screen you want some something um where whereby you you never have to touch the screen you just want to play with the back you know like with the game controller and you don't mind how much you're gonna pay for the game controller then yes backbone works with poor robots another game i'm trying to think the only game that i've seen that doesn't work with the backbone uh in my own opinion is PUBG. that's the only one that does not work with the backbone uh i don't know why because it's kind of odd all the other games do work with the backbone i'm sure they can incorporate it but they choose not to for whatever reason it's not it's not the backbone issue i think it's just the developers either they they don't want it to be like that maybe they feel it's uh it's unique in its way or it could be that in the future the backbone will be supported i hope it will because that that's one game i would love to play with the backbone at the moment no um for, um i i'm saying uh pubg mobile will not work with the backbone uh you you can use the joysticks just to Look around i've got a video showing me doing that stuff but um like moving and shooting uh no you can just look side to side which is kind of weird when i say it that way but i i just want to say the truth you cannot you can do this and that like this PUBG, but you can't move forward you know the, the instructions for that are not there so i just want to say the truth so you won't get that one PUBG mobile unfortunately i'm talking about the iphone um android i know android does have an app called um there's an app that's on the play store that uh, you need to pay ten dollars for and um then you will have um you need to connect uh you can connect certain devices um to you can connect certain devices you can connect certain devices to uh right i need to Take that down because sometimes they don't like it when you have sound on these things right so what i'm talking about is um 
what I'm talking about is this. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, the Android. Android has an app. It has an app that allows you to connect different gamepads to your phone, like the Samsung. But uh, yeah, I can connect any uh, gamepad, but you need to pay ten pounds, ten sorry, ten dollars uh, for the pro version, and then it's like a it's a lifetime thing. So you it's you can uh, continue using the app. Uh, then you can. Why I'm saying this because uh, that app actually allows you to use a DualSense controller. To use this controller, it will allow you to use a DualSense controller in um, in uh, games like uh, PUBG Mobile. So it it is there. It's a, it's an actual app, but it's only on Android. I don't know about iPhone. I've not seen it on iPhone. I looked for the same app on the iPhone. They don't have it, but it is available for Android. And I've actually purchased. I downloaded the app from the Play Store and I've actually purchased it, but it wants me to add um, game pads to it. And then I was going to make videos of me actually playing PUBG Mobile with the Juleson controller because it's, it only needs you to add the game pad to the, to the app on the phone, on this phone, Android, and then it needs you to add the game. You understand? So you need to add the Juleson's and then the game. So I add uh, Juleson's, then PUBG Mobile. You, you use the app itself to get in so it's like a widget that remains on the screen but it's very small and then the widget itself what happens is like uh, um in the game you know on on, on these above uh, widgets that's notifications that's uh, accessibility that's a volume widget and you see they don't disturb the game you just put them somewhere else on the screen and then what happens is that uh, when you're playing the game that widget needs to be active so it's like the game is recognizing the app. So I think it's like a language, um, a translation of your DualSense controller to PUBG Mobile. It's, it's more or less like telling me that it's, it's, it's uh, connected to a gamepad. Because even now, if I try to play PUBG Mobile with the DualSense controller as it is, even though it's connected, it won't work the way I want it to work. It, w it just won't work. The, I, I'm, I'm just saying the truth here. It won't work. Uh, it will be a waste of time for me to tell you that it does work when it doesn't. I prefer just saying it how it is. Right. Um, what else do I want to do in here? This this looks so different, doesn't it? This this cash thing. Um, wait. Can I get? Okay. No gold from there. Do you know? Do you know this? This looks so different, doesn't it? This um, thing. I know you guys are probably thinking, why? Why am I saying that? It looks different. This is the, this is the garage thing, you know. Okay, let me uh, grab myself this boom and get a, a turret. I'll leave the rest for the other dudes that come. I don't want to mess this uh, garage up. I would normally have shot this uh, those containers in the past, but I don't do that now because I know it's just gonna mess things up other people that actually want uh, to then um, get that done. I'm gonna go through it here, try and find people. I can't see anyone yet. Okay, so they're on this uh, seaside thing, right? Oh, yes, okay. Uh, let's see, what else can I get from here? Da, 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 da. Right. You know, you can, whenever you do this, you need to remove the gun that you're not, uh, that, um, the gun that you don't like that much, you understand? And uh, why I'm saying this, because a lot of people will see you uh, trying to take the shield and then shoot you. What? Check this out. You know these trees grow back, those trees, wait, wait. Let me go here. This is interesting. This is so interesting, let's see what happens. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ah, that's so cool, right? <laughs> that was so cool. I just wanted to see what that does. Wait, boom. Ah, I got all the shield stuff. Nice, nice one. Right, um. Let me get out of here first. This guy may try to take my Jeep, my uh, G-Wagon. Right, um, so what I'm trying to say is, um, I, I, yeah, I know I keep talking about comparison and then I don't finish what I'm saying. 
Uh, my laptop's got the RTX 3080 Ti laptop GPU, which costs 16 gigs of VRAM. It's got an OLED screen, and it's a 240 hertz screen. And on top of everything else, um, it, it is a 1440p screen. So you just got to imagine that my, my laptop is fully spec'd out. It's got 16 cores, 24 threads as well. This laptop, there's, there's no game I can't play, you understand? So what I'm trying to say is that in, in just saying what I'm saying, I'm not trying to say anything other than the fact that my laptop can play most AAA games. And with 16 gigs of VRAM already, I mean, that's more than enough for most major games, right? So wh what I'm saying is, oh wow, pity, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to take out that dude only. Anyway, um, right, so what I'm saying is this. The laptop can play any game, yes? So it's it's not a comparison thing uh, for saying like, can the laptop play games? It can, it can play most games. Even if it doesn't play those games on high, it will play them on at least medium. Or even if it did play them on low, you're still looking at 16 gigs of VRAM. And that's just the graphics card on its own. You understand? And the more RAM you've got on your laptop, like if I put a, a further 64 gigs, gigabyte of RAM on this thing, it's just going to be like an overkill because that RAM does get used, uh, believe it or not, for VRAM. I know it sounds kind of crazy because you're probably thinking like, why would you need RAM for something that already has 16 gigs? I don't know how this functions. I don't know how RAM works on a laptop or on a PC. All I know is that uh, RAM does get used for memory. Um, I don't know why that is just how it is. Because if I go into my dedicated RAM now, uh, VRAM, it says 16. But then when I look at the available RAM, it does say 32. Oh, I mean, it, it gives slightly more than the 16 uh, gigabyte. Uh, so I'm saying like, I'm not, I'm not all that, um, Look, when it comes to VRAM and RAM, I'm not all that um, tech savvy, as as you as I like to call it. Oh, yeah, yeah check this out. The dude is right here. Shoot this dude. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can you shoot him? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Okay, there, there's a dude there. The car. Right, so what I'm saying is, when it comes to RAM and VRAM, I don't know how that functions. But what I understand is that the more RAM your why is he looking the wrong way? Look forward there. Why did this guy come out of his car? Why did this guy come out of? He's still in the car, right? Isn't he? All right, okay. No, there, 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 there. The dude is. I was right, isn't it? There, he's there. That's the dude. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Check his eyes. He's, he's dropped out of his car. Yeah, let's let's annihilate this dude. Oh, please get him before he, he kills us. He's gonna kill all of us. Oh, come on, come on, man. Come on, come on. Ah, damn. We get him at least. Ah, we get him. I I'm not sure if we got him or not. No, he's, he's still around. Yes, we got him. Nice one. Nice. Nice teamwork. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's, there's people down there. Oh, where's he aiming at? All right, I'm running out of... Uh, Right, I'm gonna leave this dude now. Wait, wait, what do I have? Ah, nice one. Right, so basically, when, when I'm talking about RAM, like I said, I don't understand how RAM works, but I just know that RAM functions in such a way that it's, it still gets used for VRAM. Just like the Steam Deck uses uh, RAM, uh, sorry, no, it uses the storage capacity of the Steam Deck. To, um, to give uh, the Steam Deck itself the VRAM, which is the four gigabytes. So it's actually using RAM for VRAM, which is, um, I don't know how that works, but that's how it works. My laptop itself has 16 gigs of VRAM. So that, that's why I'm saying, I, I find it a bit odd, but that's what my laptop uh, does. It, it will have dedicated VRAM and it will have shared uh, RAM. So I don't know what the differences are or why it needs that. Um, because it's got dedicated VRAM, you understand? Anyway, like what I'm saying is, I, I feel like my laptop can play most games. It can play most of the new games anyway. I've never seen my laptop where it, it fails to play a game. 
it might not give me as much fps as i want but it's never failed to actually give me what i need uh in terms of um okay i'll give you this uh call of duty free modern warfare i do use very low resolution so i get that that could be the combination of why i'm i'm able to get at least 50 or 60 fps from the game because i get about 60 or 50 fps but at the end of the day um i do play the game on ultra you understand so so this is why i do like um i do like the factors that my laptop can play most games so i get 60 fps and i'm playing the game on ultra you understand um when i played on the steam deck naturally steam deck doesn't have a lot of vram so unfortunately it does it does kind of require it does kind of require uh Oh wow, well, no, no, I, I thought that was the enemy. It's actually one of our allies. Right, so it's the, the Steam Deck itself only has 4 gigs of VRAM, which it does borrow from the RAM itself. Like I said, uh, it is borrowing RAM. And uh, then basically, what's going on? What's this dude doing? What? So I wrecked my car. Right, okay. Oh wow, pretty. Right, so basically what I'm saying is that I do not know how RAM or VRAM works. But I do understand the dedicated RAM is 16. Um, the graphic cards of the... It's a 30, uh, 30 uh, series uh, RTX. So it's a 3080 Ti uh, laptop uh, GPU, which has got 16 gigs of VRAM. So I'm confident that my laptop will be able to achieve uh, gameplay with, with any game I throw at it. So that's that's what i will say about that other things i i want to talk about oh damn other things i'm gonna be talking about mainly are things like um steam deck steam deck only has four gigs of vram which it borrows from the storage uh it can't play games uh the most games that steam deck does play authentically and without issues are going to be games that actually run on the steam operating system itself so saying that yes for a portable game system it's good but to me it's like uh, i don't know i don't know what to say when i didn't have the laptop yeah i mean steam deck was the only thing i had so <laughs> you know you, you can't complain when you've only got one thing right you, you just you just do with what you've got but uh now that i've got a uh, laptop and I know I can get better uh, visuals with just the laptop itself. And obviously, I'm always going to be aiming higher. You, you know what I mean? Oh, wait. This, this dude is here. Oh, damn. Right. Um, so, with that said, we move on to the iPhone and the backbone. Like I said, I, I do like the backbone, but I feel because of the size and because of the way the backbone feels it feels more like a gamepad with an attachment of a screen uh that being my actual phone yes the 14 pro max it feels good but it's better when you're not recording because with this tripod you're always having to do this and the iphone 12 has got a smaller screen so i'm kind of pinching into looking you know you know what i mean it's not comfortable so that's why for me uh, backbone is still a, a plus yes i would highly recommend it but I, I don't think it's something that is comfortable especially when recording it's, it's it's uncomfortable so i use a tripod you know so the dual sense with the samsung actually would win this why why the samsung with the dual sense because the samsung itself has got a bigger screen it's bigger than the iphone uh, it's not as big as the steam deck but you have to remember it's it's uh steam deck is a computer uh, a PC uh, that runs an operating system can run any operating system whereas the, uh, Samsung only runs one and uh, operating system doesn't have a big screen but I'll tell you something the amount of time that it takes me to 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 shut down every browser on the Steam Deck just to get a game running uh, you know the the process of gaming on the Steam Deck takes time the process of gaming on my laptop also takes time I have to go into, into MSI Center I set up the 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 booster vram and the gpu only to go back into msi uh, to set that up as well and obviously put my laptop on cooler boost for the for the fans for the laptop in msi center uh boost everything put everything in high performance 
then but i can also start up steam that'll put it in high performance automatically and then all i need to do is msi msi center uh color boost and uh, uh use extreme performance uh, i've got things running in the background omen gaming hub game ready programs and the other thing i've got is i'm um, trying to think i'm trying to think of the other things i've got msi uh afterburner and then i can play games i can either play steam or uh, i don't do game pass games on my laptop i just i see that as a waste of time you you buy a gaming laptop to play games yes not to play game pass if you want to play game pass the cloud gaming i'll do it on the samsung or i'll do it on my iphone or on the steam deck but not on the gaming laptop no because why pay one thousand one hundred dollars for a, a gaming laptop and then play cloud gaming well, that's like a waste of money isn't it i think that's a waste of money anyway uh my view is different but i'm just saying so which one wins for me if i'm not recording the backbone would have been my first choice because I can easily see myself playing Wars on mobile and Call of Duty Mobile. Those are my favorite games using the backbone. But if 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 it was, uh, for example, if if it was that I want to record the Samsung wins, a bigger screen and this, you see, I'm not even touching the screen. This that's uh, charging the phone. That's charging this Bluetooth. Uh, that is an actual uh, Bluetooth gamepad. This. That, that is an actual game but it's not just there for design it's got triggers on it. you see it's got the actual things it's got even numbers like uh functions on it so it's not there for um design uh, for decoration it's an actual gamepad it's called the bs d3 uh bluetooth gamepad it's all bluetooth but it needs that connection for the if you want the the buttons to be glowing but even if you take that off it does have a built-in battery it doesn't last long depending on how long you're playing the game but it's still there that's a good thing it's cheap as well on uh, ebay or let me say it's amazon it's about it's roughly about what twenty dollars or sometimes ten dollars it's very cheap it's a cheap gamepad to get so it's not expensive that's why i'm saying it's cheap um what else can i be talking about uh, where's the chest seeing this chest around um I can hear the sound of a chest. I can't see it though. Right, so. Ah, there it is, found the chest. Um, so, which one wins for me uh, in terms of gaming? Okay, this is what I'm gonna say. If I'm doing hardcore gaming, I would rather, I would rather take the process of standing up MSI Center, which doesn't take long. The software is always open on my laptop. I never close it. Uh, so for me, it's not a problem if I want to do it that way. Then I would rather if it's a if it's a hardcore game, it needs that processing power. Then yes, hundred percent, I will rather play it on my laptop. I'm talking about PC game. Maybe it's a game, even if it's on Game Pass. But this, um, it's it's better. It's better suited for, you know, like it's better suited for um, a gaming laptop. Then I'd rather use my laptop. The, I'm just saying this, like honest opinion. That's what I'd rather use but let's let's just say for example uh let's just say for example um it's not a hardcore game it's it's a game from game pass then i'd rather use the samsung that's an easy one the samsung wins uh the, i'm talking about the, the samsung i'm playing on this will win why uh because obviously if it doesn't require hardware um you know it doesn't need a gaming laptop then yeah i'll use my samsung and it's let's say it's also available online then of course that that's a, that's a simple answer right there I, i'd rather use the the phone than go through all the time of studying starting up steam to play games from steam or from epic games launcher when i know fortnite is available on my phone why why do i need to do that all i need to do the phone is just you know going to the launcher or going to epic games app or into the launcher this is a game launcher and just tap on the game and it starts and that's it I don't have to do anything else.